What the hell is she doing here? Calm down. I'm not gonna calm down. She tried to kill me. Okay, this was a bad idea. No, no, no. Take it easy, Gwen, okay? The fact that you're still breathing is a bad idea. I don't want her here. And why is she out of jail? Charges against Teresa have been dropped. How did that happen? I did it. Excuse you what? I told the DA that you weren't going to press charges against Teresa, and the DA agreed to drop them. Teresa's free to go. There is no way I am dropping the charges against her. She tried to kill me. So you better take her back to jail and leave her there until she rots. Look, I know, I know that what she did was wrong, okay? She was foolish to, to try to get you to drink some anti-love potion, but there's no way that you're gonna be able to prove that she intentionally tried to poison you. You think she confessed? No, no, not to using poison, Gwen. It's circumstantial evidence. It'll never hold up in court. Uh, plenty of people have gone to death row because of circumstantial evidence. Maybe I'll get lucky. No, you won't. You won't, because any lawyer would argue that she could never be stupid enough to try to poison you in a hospital and then blatantly confess. Well, the depths of her stupidity have never surprised me. Gwen, please, please come off it. There's no case. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see about that. Because there's history here, and my lawyer will introduce evidence that Teresa has tried to kill me before, and I'm not going to let her try again. Let me get something straight right now. You're going to let it go right now. Uh, or what? Or I will officially sign on as her attorney, and I will take it to court. I'll defend her, I'll get her off, and I'll win. Gwen, you need me here. And we need to put up a united front for Jonathan's sake here. He's sick. And I can either be here with you and support you through this, or I can spend all my time preparing a defense for Teresa. It's up to you. I mean, but but I would suggest you suck this one up. Or or you can call Sam Bennett right now and have her taken to jail. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Well, happy Thanksgiving to me. Went do it. Agree that the charges against Teresa should be dropped. I don't think I can do that. You are only hurting our son. What is that supposed to mean? When I went to Teresa to ask her if Jane could be tested to see if she's a compatible match with Jonathan for his liver transplant. Both parents have to consent, but I'm too damn close to this situation. I can't be objective. I'm Jonathan's father, so I'm leaving this decision up to her. You're what? Gwen, if Jane is a match, part of her liver has to be taken out and given to Jonathan, and she could have potential health risks in the future, okay? I am not about to risk one child to save the other. I want to do the right thing. It's just not an easy decision. But I feel like if Jane were older and she understood, she would want to do everything she could to help her brother. After all, she is Jonathan's only sibling, right? So Teresa has agreed to allow Jane to be tested. In an effort to save our son, she's agreed. But if you go throw her in jail again, Gwen, I don't know if she'll be so accommodating. That's blackmail. Gwen, call it what you want to call it. But I want to know what you're going to do here. Are you going to agree to drop the charges against Teresa, or is revenge that important to you that you would risk the life of our son? All right, fine. I won't press charges against Teresa. Thank you. That wasn't so hard, was it? Hmm. No idea. I really had no intention of hurting you. Save it. I mean, I've heard your excuses a million times before. And if I had died from your poison, you would do a tap dance on my grave. Oh, you too. You know, I, I, I guess I was a fool to think you two could actually get along with one another. 
From now on, you can hate each other with a passion if you want, but let's just pretend to be civilized adults. Can we do that? Great, thank you. I'm gonna call the nanny and make sure that Jane is on her way, and then I'm gonna get the doctor to pull the release forms so they're ready when she gets here. Thank you. You did a wonderful thing today. It's uh, something we can all be grateful about, especially on a day like today. Well, he's right about that. Thank you. I swear to you, I didn't mean to poison you. Risa, it, I mean, it doesn't even matter anymore because I don't know what to think anymore when it comes to you. Well, you can uh, believe me when I say that I can't imagine what you're going through and I wouldn't wish it on anyone and that's why I've agreed to have my daughter be tested. And I do hope everything works out for Jonathan. Thank you. Let me ask you this. What happens if Jane is not a match? Don't say that. And what happens if we can't find a, a match? Well, don't give up hope. Because there's always little Ethan. He's Jonathan's half-brother, and we can have him tested to see if he's a match. Gwen, if Jane isn't a match, little Ethan could be Jonathan's only hope. And if it means saving your son's life, then you have to agree to keep my mother's secret and allow me to tell Ethan the truth that little Ethan is his son. Never. I'm not gonna let you tell Ethan he's little Ethan's father. You'll never have Ethan. Are we clear? And what if Jane isn't a match? Little Ethan could be your son's only hope of surviving. So you would rather let Jonathan die than let me tell Ethan the truth? Maybe you didn't hear me. I will never let you tell Ethan that he is little Ethan's father. Even if it costs you your son's life. Oh my God. You're willing to let your son die just to keep me from being with Ethan? 